What's up guys, Zubz Edits here, and today I'm bringing to you guys my episode 2 on road to becoming a graphics designer. Now in episode 1, I taught you guys how to do the basics in Cinema 4D text. Now, it was pretty simple, and it was just a Cinema 4D text basics. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the text that you made in Cinema 4D in Photoshop. Now on this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the glow effect and you guys are gonna see what I mean later about the glow effect but what we're gonna do is just open up uh, Photoshop and then I have so many brushes that it's gonna take a little while so I'll be right back alright guys so my Photoshop has opened so we're just gonna go to file and create a new uh, composition 1280 by 720 just okay and then we're gonna make this the background color to black uh, okay Rename this as background. Lock this layer and change this back to blue. All right, so we're gonna import our text. So I'm gonna import mine. Uh, it's not gonna be the same as I did that I made inside uh, Cinema 4D on the same video. It's a different one. Mine is just Thrash Sheet, as you guys can see, Thrash Sheet with the blue glow. So I'm just gonna import this into here. Oh. My bad. Import. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know a little bit about Photoshop, so I'm not going to go too much in depth. But if you guys don't know uh, how to crop down images, as you guys can see, mine's too big. It doesn't fit on the screen. What you're going to do is a shortcut is just press Control T on a PC or Command T on a Mac. And it's going to bring up your free transform instead of going into edit and then clicking free transform. Just uh, crop your image or your text down. And there we go. Mine's cropped down. So now, what you want to do to start the glow effect is uh, I'm going to rename this as Cure. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name this one as Glow Effect. So now I have my, my text layer, which is right here. And my glow effect, which is nothing at the moment. But what we're going to do is go to our brush tool on the left side make sure it's on brush click the down arrow and go to the fourth preset which is or the fifth preset sorry the fifth preset or the third uh, soft brush and put down the pixels to two and then now you're pretty much ready to start pen tooling the glow so uh, I would recommend whatever color you're using is put that as the color that you want uh, the glow to be so mine's just gonna be blue so I put mine to blue and then get my pen tool out and I'm just gonna pen tool uh, around here like this pen tool uh, and then once you've pen tooled where you want it to be just click stroke path make sure the tools on brush and simulate pressure press ok and then just press delete path and you guys are gonna see this little blue line pop up and that's good so next, what you're going to do is do the next part that you want. So I'm going to do mine in the U. So pen tool the inside, just like this. Pen tool, pen tool, pen tool, just like that. Stroke path, yes. Delete path makes another blue line. Next is the R. Mine's going to go from here to here, all the way up here to there, all the way up here. Stroke path, okay. Delete path. It's gonna make another blue line. And then for the E, I'm just gonna do here to here to here to here. Stroke path, blue, and then delete path. So now, if I fit on screen, as you guys can see, it adds these blue little lines, and it's not much of a glow effect yet. So to add the glow effect, what you're going to do is go to your blending options on the glow effect uh, layer. And you want to go to outer glow. And now you're going to see the lines that you just pen tooled are going to be like this yellowish color. At the beginning, what you're going to do is click on the one to the left, the little square, double click it. And the color picker is going to pop up. And then just change it to the color that you want. Mine's blue, so I'm going to change mine to blue. Put the opacity up to 100. And it's going to give you guys this really nice glow effect, as you guys can see, up here in the middle. 
it just gives it this really nice glow effect as you guys can see and if I turn it off and turn it on it really does show an effect and it looks really good if you just turn down the opacity a little bit like right there about 65 always looks good that's okay and it just gives it this really nice little glow effect and it looks really nice so guys this was my tutorial on how to do the glow effect in after effects wow i just really messed that up sorry guys uh how to do the glow effect in photoshop adobe photoshop uh sorry i was thinking about after effects because my uh, friends in my team chat are talking about it right now but thanks for watching guys if this video helped you can you guys please leave a like it really does help me and if you guys want to see any more tutorials, please comment below on what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see a Thrashy tutorial, if you guys want to see any tutorial you guys can think of, please leave it in the comments or message me on YouTube. I will definitely do the tutorial for you guys as soon as possible. When you request it, I'll do it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I really hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, you guys, so much for almost 700 subscribers. It's been a really great way. I've really grown in the past couple of days. Me and John are very psyched. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.